Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we are talking couscous. Truly one of the most underrated ingredients at supermarkets. Some people have heard of it, most haven't, or they've never tried it. In my opinion, one of the best ingredients out there because it's heart healthy, affordable, and super easy to make. And here's what that being said today, we're gonna grab some couscous and create an extraordinary recipe. We're talking Mediterranean garlic couscous. Now the beauty of this recipe, besides the fact that it's easy to make and made with the simplest ingredients, is that you can serve it warm, at room temperature, or even chilled, making it the perfect dish for any time of the year. Folks serve this couscous as a side dish, next to some grilled fish, or even as a main course, as it certainly has enough protein. Either way, it's the kind of food that's gonna fill you with so much goodness. All right, let's just dive right into this. I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat, and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. Important to use the good stuff here is what truly flavors the entire dish. I think we can get the Spanish one I'm using in the description box below. While the oil is heating, I'm gonna thinly slice one medium-sized onion, thinly slice four cloves of garlic, and cut one red bell pepper into small thin strips. Then we'll add the chopped vegetables into the hot fry pan, and we'll mix them around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And since we cut them into larger pieces, you don't have to mix this continuously, but do it in every one to two minutes, that way everything evenly sautés. While the veggies are cooking, I'm gonna heat a small saucepan with a medium heat, and add in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters. Once again, link where you can get the Spanish one I'm using in the description box below. While oil is heating, I'm gonna roughly chop three cloves of garlic. Then we'll add the chopped garlic into the saucepan and mix it around continuously. After 30 seconds to one minute, and the garlic is nice and fragrant, you don't wanna brown it, we'll add in one cup of vegetable broth, which is 240 milliliters. You can also use chicken broth here, or even beef broth if you like. Either way, link on how to make my homemade veggie broth in the description box below. And we'll season with a kiss of sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a gentle mix. While the broth is heating, let's move back to the fry pan. After five to six minutes and those veggies are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 120 grams. As always, I made mine by finely grating fresh tomatoes, but you can also use canned tomato sauce here, which is very similar to passata. We'll also add in one teaspoon of dried oregano, which is one gram, and half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which is half a gram. And we'll give it a mix, and then simmer it for a few minutes. After three to four minutes, and the grated tomato has slightly thickened, I'm gonna drain one can of chickpeas into a colander, rinse the chickpeas under some water, and then add them into the fry pan. The size of the can that I'm using is 15 and a half ounces, which is 440 grams. We'll also add in two tablespoons of chopped parsley, which is eight grams. Squeeze in two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice, which is 10 milliliters. And season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until it's well mixed together and then lower the fire to a low medium heat. While the vegetables and the chickpeas are simmering, let's move back to the saucepan. Once that broth comes to a boil, it's time to add in the couscous. I'm gonna measure out one cup of couscous, which is 180 grams, and add it into the saucepan. Then we'll gently mix the couscous with the broth. Place a lid on the saucepan and remove it from the heat. And we'll leave our couscous to sit there for five minutes to end up with perfectly cooked couscous. Important to check the package instructions in the couscous you're using. That way your liquid to rice ratios and your cooking times are right on the money. After five minutes, we'll remove the lid. And using a fork, we'll gently fluff the couscous. This to help separate the grains. For the final step, let's start assembling our dish. I'm gonna add in some of the couscous into a serving plate. And then we'll grab our simmering vegetables and chickpeas and add some over the couscous. And 
and we'll top it off with some parsley. Check it out, Mediterranean garlic couscous, easy to make, heart healthy ingredients, and all done in under 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, Mediterranean couscous. Look how beautiful this turned out. Can't wait to try it. Here we go. This right here is what the Mediterranean kitchen is all about. We're healthy and delicious meat right in the middle. That couscous is beautifully cooked. It's got so much garlic flavor. And of course, those Mediterranean vegetables and chickpeas taking the couscous to the next level of goodness. Easy to make, our healthy ingredients. Give it a try at home. Once again, as a side dish next to some grilled fish, or even as a main course, this certainly has enough protein. Either way, the kind of food that's gonna fill you with so much goodness. Real quick before I go, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Tom Pagano, Tandy Irvin, Maria, and Karen Reynolds. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That we can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.